glad to have uh, David for the last segment. I, I do five more hours like this, and uh, I think he can keep up with me. Uh, th- this is the thing. In making his film, Erasing David, he did tons of research. It's all in the film. Research the East German Stasi. Uh, as you know, we talked about on this show, Marcus Wolf, who was head of the Stasi before he died, was advising Homeland Security. <sighs> Homeland Security. Homeland Control right here in the United States of America. A uh, Racing David is the film, man. The trailers are out there. We've got all the reviews and everything. Kristen wrote a great review here for us at uh, DeadlineLive.info. It's playing tomorrow at Austin, Texas, the G-Tech. And I believe, uh, David, I'm going to look into this, but is it the AT&T Executive Education and Conference Center at 1900 University Avenue? Is that where this is showing? It's not. No, it's at okay. the Austin, um, the Austin, is it the Austin Conference Center? Or the Austin convention. convention Center. Yeah, they had a lot of stuff at the convention center. ACC on Trinity. That's where it's playing. Uh, and, and, and the theater is actually within the conference center on the ground floor. Okay. Come on by. Sure and I should say clear. also, Jack, that right now, tied in with the festival here at South by Southwest, the film is available on Amazon VOD. So if any of your listeners can't make it along tomorrow at 11, then um, please check it out on Amazon VOD. I'm glad I kept you for that because a lot of our listeners aren't here in Austin and they're not going to be traveling here by tomorrow morning. Uh, say it again. Uh, well, first of all, you can go to erasingdavid, all one word, dot com, and, and all of it's there. You can get the film, and I highly recommend it. So people can just go to the website and get it. Yes? David? They erased David from the show? Hello? David, did they erase you from our show? Plug them in, guys. That's a, I think that's kind of an appropriate way to end here with us. But man, I'm not going to be interrupted one more time. I'm done with this. David, are you with us? They erased David. Uh, erasing David, delivered with one hand on your pulse, the other hand smacking you in the face. Erasing David, a timely clarion call to those of us interested in guarding our civil liberties or, here in America, constitutional rights in an increasing evasive digital age. Uh, I've been calling for citizens' panels to oversee this technology. We do have to understand, don't we, folks? This wasn't developed at AT AT&T. It wasn't developed at uh, uh, MIT. I mean, well, let me correct myself because I've been there. It was, but then uh, it was funded by DARPA which is an arm, the research and technology arm of the Pentagon. The guy's paid to kill people. So if we don't have a citizen's panel overlooking this technology, and then more importantly, if we don't learn civil disobedience and how to lay off it, I know it's comfortable. I know it's comfortable to have the cell phones and the digital TV and all of that, and, and you're living in these creature comfort, this technological creature comfort era of the year 2010, and isn't it wonderful? It's not what they sold you on the Jetsons, is it? It's not. David, did we lose you? Okay. Sorry about that. I'm back. Oh, you are. I thought they erased you, David, for a second on our show. <laughs> yeah, I was just trying to make the point about it being available on VOD, Jack. Did you hear that before I was cut off? No, we did, and I was giving people the website because I think they can just go there and buy the film, and uh, I think that I want to make a suggestion. Get the film. Make copies of it, if it's okay with you, and show it at your local cinema. If you guys can't get to a city near my listeners, they should be calling their local cinema, going to their cable access stations, and trying to show this film. Please do that, and you can get in touch with us at erasingdavid.com, and if you would like to arrange a screening, get in touch. We'll send you a copy, and we'll get a screening arranged wherever you are. And, and we'd love to play it at, um, at your local cinemas as well. So please just get in touch. Ask us. I'm psyched to meet you and Ashley at the show tomorrow. How would you like Austin so far? How is it? I am loving it here. This is such a great city. I'm having a, really the time of my life. Loving it. And we don't want them to ruin it. You know our police chief, you know what his last name is here? Tell me. Ass Invader. That should be a tip <laughs> Well, I I changed a few letters. Luckily, we're shipping them off to Dallas, which is already... uh, They take your blood here if if they think you're drunk. If you refuse the breathalyzer, they have a phlebotomist that comes in, they take your blood, and then they prosecute you on that without a warrant. Uh, Don't tell me. That's just a hideous idea. David, I want to also warn you, it's illegal to be drunk in a bar in Texas. Well, I've broken the law a number of times already, (laughs) though. Uh, we're having a Guinness together tomorrow, buddy. 
I'm looking forward to that enormously, Jack, and uh, very much looking forward to meeting you tomorrow. Even though we'll be early, we're going for the Guinness. All right, there he is, folks. David Bond, EracingDavid.com, Erasing David, the film. Thank you so much for joining us. Great guest. You've been great on the show today. Thank you. It's been a pleasure. And I'll see you tomorrow, 11 o'clock, uh, something called G-Tech. We, we don't know where that is in Austin, <laughs> but I'm going to find it. And I'm going to be there, and I want you to do the same thing. Go do a little due diligence. Can we have our forum members, our uh, MySpace members, our Facebook members, and listeners of this show that are in the area come down? Let's show some support. Let's show David Bond uh, how we can come out for a movie like this. Let's do that tomorrow and maybe take the day off of work or get a few hours. The film is 90 minutes, so you'll need... If you want to stay for the Q&A, which I think you should, uh, you'll need about two and a half hours tomorrow. I'm going to go do it, and I'm going to go do a show tomorrow as well. We've got updates tomorrow on Obamacare, which is about to be voted on at any second. If you look at the stories I've been giving you uh, on the program today, so we started in the first hour talking about this massive fraud and Ponzi scheme that happened through the Lehman Brothers, overseen by the Federal Reserve, and Timmy Geithner, who is overseeing the, the IRS, who will oversee your health care, you might have a few questions about it. You, you might want to do a little more investigating, and you might want to learn how to resist. As part of resisting, as I was mentioning before David popped back on, was... You know, you got to resist these these creature comfort technologies. That's how they're sucking you in. You know, you think it's been easy for me not to have a driver's license for 13 years? You think it's been easy for me not to have a cell phone for for like five years? I got an Al Qaeda 7-Eleven phone, which we, we still don't even use. I went to Pennsylvania, no computer. Hey, wow, how did I know what was going on? <laughs> no cell phone. How did I operate? How did I manage to? To stay in business? How did I manage to stay relevant? How did I know what was going on in the world? Yeah, that's what they want you to think. So this is all up to you. All of it. It's all up to you. I challenge you to do the right thing. Be an example. We, we constantly talk about it on this program. It's one of the solutions we offer. You've got to live the talk. You've got to walk the talk. And as tempting as a lot of this technological stuff is... You just got to say no. Thank you for joining us. We'll be back tomorrow. Same time, same channel, right here on AmericanFreedomRadio.com. Coming up next, you got it, the Truther Girls, Sonia and Karen. I'll see you tomorrow. Until then, as always, I'm Jack Blood saying be bold and mighty forces will come to your aid.